Hello again. Have you ever wondered what kind of tools are used in the small scale production of retro project boards that utilize surface mounted components? Well, today we'll be doing an unboxing and assembly of an SMD stencil printer. Welcome to 8-Bit Resurgence and thanks for joining me today. More and more these days we're seeing open source projects being developed that primarily use SMD or surface mounted components. For the typical hobbyist with average soldering skills these projects can be out of reach due to specific skill sets required to build such boards. Because the component contact point can be so small bridging and even destruction of the solder pads on the PCB can easily result in a disappointingly failed build. Over the years I've managed to develop my skills such that I can rather successfully manually solder SMD components, but it can be a rather tedious job. In order to create boards faster and with greater precision, new tools can be used to ensure success. This video is about one such tool, the SMD printer. The typical notion of a printer doesn't really equate to how the stencil printer operates, but I'll briefly explain its function. To step back a little before we talk about what the SMD stencil printer does, we have to discuss stencils. These are thin metal sheets that have holes etched through to expose all the locations on a particular project PCB that should contain solder that will ultimately affix the SMD parts to the board. Each project board that you want to process on an SMD stencil printer requires that you have a stencil built into a frame. This is a service that board houses such as PCBWay can easily produce alongside a PCB order for a rather reasonable price. Shipping however when including an SMD stencil does go up quite dramatically as they are a good size. Once you have your PCBs and stencil in hand, you're ready to proceed. What the SMD stencil printer does for you is that it holds your PCB in a completely aligned position with your SMD stencil. The SMD stencil is hinged so that it can be raised and lowered for each PCB you process. Each time the stencil is lowered onto each successive PCB, the holes are always perfectly aligned with the PCB. Fine controls built into the printer allow for precise adjustment. With the stencil lowered onto the PCB, solder paste is trailed over the opening, thus being deposited exactly where and only where it needs to be for the electronic components. As mentioned, this is a repeatable process for as many boards as you desire. Once you have at least one board done, you can then proceed to place all the components on the solder paste. That's pretty much the end of the process for SMD stencil printing. The device doesn't actually print solder paste, rather allows solder paste to only go where it needs to go, but that's what they call the device. Subsequent steps in the board building process are component placement and reflow, but I'll cover that in a future episode. Let's now get to opening the box and seeing what I've received. All right, so we're about to open the box here. This box is fairly large. It weighs almost 70 pounds. And obviously it's all metal from what I've seen in the pictures anyway. And we'll, hopefully it traveled well. The, um, the box is in really good shape. So we'll see what we've got here. So we've got the manual. Manual there. All right, it's looking, uh, looking large. <laughs> Oh boy, that's a that is a heavy one, isn't it? 
Right, so that's the unit out of the box now. That looks to be quite well wrapped. Hopefully all the components are inside. Oh, look at that. This has a the SMD um, solder paste scraper is on here interesting that they included that I never mentioned that um, right there that's for scraping the solder paste across the stencil so that's quite nice that they included that and more of the styrofoam this certainly is a robust looking machine because it is a rather large device all right so there were a lot of components underneath the unit got the, the large screws that hold the the arm that holds the stencil some sort of knife bars for the the top like a tool kit of some sort yeah there's a tool kit for assembling it there's uh, pins for holding the PCBs in place and we have presumably these are legs uh, for the the unit itself this is the uh, the part of the, the the back of the unit that the uh, the stencil will clamp to with those and this is the counterweight arm and this is the counterweight and that's all the components but overall it all looks like it's there all the pieces seem to be here so now I'm going to clean up around here and start putting it together and uh, I don't think it's that exciting to record the the assembly of the unit so I'll follow the instructions put it back together and then uh, I'll be back and uh, you can take a look at what the finished unit looks like okay I've applied solder paste to the, the trowel and now and I've aligned the stencil on the stencil printer and now I will apply the solder paste So now it's essentially printed. So now I just lift this up and all the solder paste should be on this PCB. So I'll just lift the PCB off and we'll have a look. And sure enough, There is solder paste on all of the pads. So everywhere where there was a hole in the stencil, which makes it a stencil, um, solder paste went through and deposited on the pads. So now it's just a matter of taking it over to, to my bench and pla placing the parts on the board and then uh, continue on with the process but I just wanted to demonstrate the actual printing process since you sat through and watched the assembly and listened to an explanation of how the printing works I wanted to quickly demonstrate it for you 
That was the unboxing of the YX3040 PCB stencil printer. I hadn't seen a proper unboxing before for this device, so I thought it'd be fun to do one. It also has given me the opportunity to introduce you to the first part of small scale rapid PCB assembly and production. I thank you for watching through to the end of the video. If you've not already subscribed to my channel, it would be greatly appreciated. We're well on our way to a thousand subscribers. Click the bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Likes and comments are always appreciated. We'll see you next time on 8-Bit Resurgence. Bye for now.